Elden Ring is set here, in the lands between. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. Occasionally, grace will manifest rays of guiding light. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance, or head off to explore in a different direction. My stars, I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Put those doubts to rest, I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. The map can prove useful when exploring the world, and is populated by acquiring map fragments. We can use markers to customize the map, such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. Beacons can also be placed to help with orientation. Beacons placed on the map appear in the world. Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality.
The carriage over there is carrying treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting, using materials found in the world. Enemy stance can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. Spirits vary greatly in type, so we look forward to players experimenting and finding their personal favorites. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds, from cooperative to PvP and invasions. Deadly creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. We've come across a boss guarding this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. These dungeons each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fearsome bosses.
greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large-scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. The gates! Open the gates! The main route seems risky, so we'll try entering through a back way. Extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind.
In this next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Of all that is golden. 